Greetings, Pilgrims. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. In the last episode in Fathra's Palace, we were able to take out Barst, the Trandoshan hunter who Nemro had given his seal of approval. We got it, took it back to Nemro, and found out that the person with the bone mask who'd been following Mako around was named Garda, I believe his name was. And he was the representative that we needed to talk to to get into the Great Hunt, so good times. Um, according to him, we need to go to Dromenkos, which is the Sith capital, but right now we're going to try and take out these heroic quests first. Now, I've been basically spamming the general chat, seeing if anyone would like to come along, but I don't think there's very many high players up right now, at least in the uh, 8 or 9 area. So what we're going to do, we're going to check our mail, and since we have Mako here, we're going to try and do him solo, since we've got the heals. Got a mail from Albia, safe on Coruscant. You're probably going to find this silly, but I wanted to tell you I made it home in one piece after you saved me from Fathra's palace. Yes, I do find it silly. I know I wasn't the reason why you were there, but I can't think of anyone on Hutta who wouldn't just shot me for the credits in my pocket, let alone an Imperial bounty. So I hope this helps you in the Great Hunt and be careful out there. It wasn't hard for me to dig up this address. P.S. Thank your partner for her blaster. I don't think I'll be able to sleep without it for a while. 77 credits. Well, that that still bugs me, but the God's honest truth about it is it could have been infinitely worse. I mean, chances are good if I killed her, the imps probably would have sent me, you know, probably a little lesser amount of money. I don't know, that's usually how it goes. So, we have Mako, so technically that's two, and it says two plus. So we're going to, let's see where we need to go. I guess we'll head to the factory recall first and foremost. I know we're going to be dealing with some elites and that's going to be a pain. And if we can't do it, we can't do it. I'll go ahead and pause the recording until we do find someone who will tag along with us. I want to take care of all of the planet stuff before we leave it. So it is up here. Oh, no, actually it's over here. This reminds me of like if Dagobah and Endor combined into one planet. Because you got the swamp and the forest all at once. It's kind of an interesting, interesting setting. Entrance. Where are we? Okay. So, nowhere we need to be. Check the map one more time because I tend to get lost. Oh, here we go. There's Gedrin. All right, let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. First things first, though. Rebuff ourselves. Do we have stims? We might as well use stims while we're here. Increases my aim by eight. And... Okay, security commander. So we are taking care of doing, uh, taking care of elite foes. So, no time like the present. Oh, come on. There we go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could be worse. Definitely could be worse. Okay, I think with Mako here we'll be in good shape. Let's hope. We're gonna run up here. Use the flamethrower. Ooh, that flamethrower is nasty, isn't it? Okay, now, checking the map of this place, a holocron is actually hidden right around here, so we're gonna have to take the long way. There's tunnel rats. I think we're gonna get our fill of uh, nasties to fight, though. So, let's focus on this guy. Ah. Alright, do an unload. Mako can hold her own, I'm not worried about that. Nice, level 10. Fire, it kills lizards dead. Now, security junction box. Okay, we actually have to destroy these. Was there one over here where these guys were? Yep. 
So let's fight, kill these guys off, and take care of this one. Yeah, Mako and me make a really good team. Two more to go. Oh, hi! You came out of nowhere, didn't you? Yeah, our stats have gotten high enough that some of these guys are not a problem at all. Flamethrower! And a good unload for... an unload for good measure. Ooh, what do we get there? Aim and endure... okay. Not, not so much of a boot upgrade. And what we else we got here? This is where we... Okay, we have to turn right after we take these guys out. Okay, this is a lot of people, so let's do it, Mako. Okay, this way. Shoryuken! I cleaned out the tunnels. That's good. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry, Mako. You were still taking care of peoples. Yeah, there's the holocron right there, so we're gonna have to take the long way around. Yeah. Alright. We got one more of these junction boxes to destroy. Now we have to defeat guards, industrial engineers, and fabrication units. No problem. Can we hit this guy with the flamethrower too? I love that. I love that thing. That should be like Bounty Hunter, the starting kit should have your, you know, Hunter's first flamethrower. There's a planetary commendation. Now, to, to complete the quest that we have, we have to go this way, but... And we probably will have to deal with uh, respawns, which will suck, but... It is what it is. Oh! Whoops! That was the rail gun. And unload. And... There we go. And that was with minimum damage to Mako and I. The things I'll do for a holocron. He's all gray or bluish. Nice. God, that flamethrower is so amazing. Let's vent heat. And we'll just shoot you with a basic blaster shot so we don't waste any of our cooldowns. We're getting some good money out of this too, so... Security commander... And I wonder why Fothra's big goons would be in this facility and not Fothra's palace. I've always been curious about that. Let's take care of you. Shoruken! No, oh, you are anything but a pushover, Mako. And all blues. So, flamethrower. Oh, only hit you. That's okay, though. We'll do the best with what we have. And hopefully we'll have some... That looks like a big droid to my left, doesn't it? That's probably no bueno. Let's lower our heat. With our recharge and reload. There we go. Okay, well. A B-34T disposal droid. Conquest droid. Sounds fun. Oh, I'm hearing boss music too. Well, let's keep it going. Just keep me healed, Mako. I should be in good shape. Ow, fire. I got fire too. The rail gun. 
our vent heat's still on cooldown. Seven more seconds. Oh, we knocked us from our unload. There we go. You better have some good loot. Hutti's Leatherist Jacket. I said good loot. However, here's the Holocron. Or Datacron. Excuse me. And what does this do? It contains a blue Matrix Shard. You can combine it with other Matrix Shards in Dromokas. Alright. Doesn't give us a, a, a permanent stat, but it does help us out quite substantially. So, let's loot this chest, just because we can. Now, let's go ahead and haul back before the respawns pop up. And then we can actually get on the mission that we were meant to go on. Actually, now would be a good time for a minor experience boost, wouldn't it? There we go. Now I have to turn right here. Hello? Flamethrower, all the things. And up, I think? Yes. Definitely up. So our wait for our flamethrower. There we go. Oh, we had an elite. I didn't even notice it. Hello there, good sir. A security commander. Eat a railgun. Getting a lot of just uh, crap armor that we can sell, which is good. I dig it. Achievement, Hunter's Helper. What is that? Okay, that's a... That's for Mako. I forgot you get achievements now with the companions, depending on what you do. Oh. Just a, just a patrol. Nothing too big. I don't want to get overwhelmed here. That's my primary fear. Is fighting off more than we can chew. And the cool thing is that once we get to the um, Imperial Starbase on our way to Dromenkos, we can choose our specialization. Okay, there's a blue and a gold, so we'll right? go ahead. Oh, I'm fine, Mako. Thank you for asking, though. We'll take out the blue uh, guy first. That lets us focus all our attention on Gruesome here. Uh, Mako got the finishing move on him. And let's blast this guy. There we go. We can, the, these lizards are very susceptible to this, apparently. Yeah, whatever Fathra's got in here is definitely important to him to have this much... These many guards and elite units when his palace was pretty weak in comparison. I actually find out you may find Fathra later in the game. Oh. Is this the... Fathra security... Wait a minute. Okay, we're supposed to go up here? Fathra's... Oh, factory recall. Okay, we're on the other side of the factory. I see. We're back in the rust yards, guys. So, we're gonna try to avoid these rust runners and all this garbage. And head in here and do what needs to be done. Here's that other facility I thought that we had quest into that we didn't at the time. So that's what this was about. Mining operations. 
And looks like we are no longer kidding or, you know, messing around. So let's focus on this guy. Ow. Mako, you just keep me healed and take care of the little guys. We should be fine. Run a little low on hot health there, Mako. Woo! That was a close call, Mako. That's okay, though. That can recharge and reload. Catch our breath. We took out one security guard and two engineers. And here's another security droid all by his lonesome. You're gonna get it now. That's right, you tell him, Mako. There we go. That was... That's more like it. Now, there's the fabrication unit. That's what we need to... That's what we need to find are these little... areas that we can hit. Alright, let's focus on the engineer first. There we go. Oh, we can't. He was out of range for the flamethrower. That sucks. Need a railgun for your troubles? There's our first fabrication unit. Saw another one over here. Okay, just engineers. That's fine. Need a nice help nice healthy dose of fire. And I guess we're taking out his entire industrial infrastructure. Which I'm sure will help out Nem Nemro incredibly. And there's no other prefab units here that we can destroy that I see, so it looks like we may have to head upstairs. What could go wrong upstairs? Okay, an engineer and a security droid. Mako, you up here? Mako! Where'd you go? Are you underneath the ramp? There you go. It's okay, she's young. I'll give her I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I was not gonna start that fight without her there. Now I'll take care of him. And that just leaves us alone, my friend. Oh, no it doesn't. I did not see you. Just keep yourself alive, Mako. I'm almost there. There we go. Heal tanks for the win. Okay, inventory's full. It's okay. We're about to destroy our last uh, prefab unit. Cool. Now I can return to Gedrin. So that just leaves us with the man with the steel voice, and I'm not going to fight our way out of here. We're just going to run. Go passive, Mako. If we set her passive, she'll just follow us out. She won't actually try and fight anything nearby. Yeah, slake your bloodlust, woman. Okay, are you going to follow us, or are you going to run away? Cool. And go ahead and turn passive off again. Now, where's the man with the steel voice? That's up there. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll uh, return to Gedrin. I'll run my way through here. And then we can see what's going on with the man with the steel voice. So, give me one sec. Okay, guys, we're back here at Gedrin. Let's talk to him and get this quest taken care of. First things first, let's destroy at least a little bit of our inventory. 
So, in case he gives us anything. Nice work. Pathra will think twice the next time he muscles in on Nemro's business. I'll make sure I get the credit for it, literally and figuratively. Remember my name. Spread it around. Don't worry. I never forget a good hired gun. Enjoy your credits. What we get? Armored Pyro Greaves. Okay, cool. We got a pants upgrade. And some more sweet, sweet XP. Where are you at? There we go. Now that's a daily quest. You can do that all the time if you're so inclined. So next up is the man with the steel voice. That's up here. I'll go ahead and head that way and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. We're here in an area called the Old Muck Works. And as you can see... Uh, off camera, I explored the rest of Hutta. Just had this little area to take care of, and then it shows you the entire map. So we definitely got that completion de taken care of. And we have a vendor here. Let's go ahead and sell all the junk. So we have a little place for uh, loot. And here's who we need to talk to about the muckworks. Bo La, with the man with the steel voice. You. The old man sent you, didn't he? I can smell his foul chemicals from here. Do you know what those chemicals do? They purify the water all right. But they also do disgusting things to the water beasts. Mutating them and making them rampage. They come out of the water twice the size and ten times as vicious. And they're wiping us out. Hmm. Do you think the guy knows? Maybe the old man didn't realize what his chemicals did. What? You think because he's dying he's kind and innocent? That old man's crazy. He clearly doesn't care if we all die in his purification process. If you want to help, you should go to that station and smash the valves in back that release the chemicals. So no one can use that station ever again. Hmm. Well, what about the pollution? Won't smashing the valve only cause the river to become polluted again? I'm sure we'd all prefer if the river was cleaner. But we're talking about murder here. Please. Will you help us? No. Uh, I was paid to clean the water. So I'm going to clean the water. Going to get my Captain Planet on. I'm going to purify the river. Heartless murderers. Hey, you should have found me first. Let's go ahead and take care of this. And we've applied chemicals to the filter station. We can go speak to the man with the steel voice. However, there is a quest over here. As you can see here on the radar. So, let's go ahead and work our way up here. We're in a heroic area, so a lot of the guys here are elites or silvers. Silver blues, you know what I mean, tough. Foreman Rom. Can't help noticing you're out here and not in your factory. This is Numero's core plant. It's most important asset. Now some crazy evil guy appeared out of nowhere and took the place over. One minute they weren't there, the next they were. I managed to get out, but the bog rats took most of my workers hostage. You want to save me from charging into a crowd of angry evil guy with nothing but a stick of detonite and a bolt gun? Hmm. What's the job? What do you need me to do? Hostages are in the basement, but you can't go straight there. You need to use the main console to unlock the elevators. The main console's on the top floor. Get the elevators working, then down to the basement and free my workers, yeah? All right, if you're paying. That shouldn't be a problem. Remember, upstairs first. Elevators won't work until they're unlocked. Okay, so we have some kooky evokai who have gone on the warpath again. And kidnapped some of Nemro's workers. So where are we, where are we on time here? Oh, not too bad. We can do a little bit of this quest, and if, you know, we run a little bit late... Ah, well. Evokai Slayer. Find the factory secure terminal. Well, let's get her going. Oh! You're not passive anymore, Mako. There you go. You're on the clock. There we go. Okay, we just need to eliminate the Evokai in general. I like the music in the background. So let's avoid the Evokai as we can. And if we, uh, if we have to kill them on the way, we do. And if we run out of, if we 
get take care of our quests, we can take care of them before we actually finish the uh, what we need to do. Did that make sense? I'm sorry, I was kind of rambling there. These guys aren't too bad, though. Now, I said upstairs first to turn on the elevator. So, hello there, Firebrand. Okay, get out of the target site. That's the first rule of MMOs. Don't, st don't stand in the fire and get out of target sites. Oh, hi, I didn't even see you. Welcome to the party. And, okay, we have to get all the way over here. You're gonna top me off there, Mako? Thank you. And these guys are actually a low-level elite, so we're not having much trouble with them at all. Oh, pfft. Yeah, let's go ahead. That was a perfect time to use Flamethrower. Nah. Okay, here's a Brute. Does it, okay, he had friends. Right in time for you to join the party. Well, we're almost done with killing all these Evokai. So, here's the factory security terminal. How many do we have to kill? We have to kill... a few more. Okay, we're probably, we'll probably run into them before, or we'll probably kill them all before we get to the terminal. I wonder actually what causes the uh, damage over time effect, or like what its its uh, cooldown is for rail shot. Because I'm hitting people. Uh, basically, we have a buff that gives us uh, makes our blaster have a a damage over time effect. However, it's not activating rail shot as much as I think it should. How many do we got here? Are there two? Two of you? All right, we need to let's kill one more just to be safe. just so we have all of our affairs in order. And then we can head downstairs. You guys will do. Or maybe you guys will. Anyone in here? Ah, look out. Perfect. And you, okay. You're tough, not elite though. Okay. We've cleaned up the factory. We were just getting our Captain Planet on and all over the place today. Purged the, you know, water of pollutants and uh, cleaned up the factory, as it said. However, I do not believe that Beaudry will be rocking out the... Was it a green or a blue mu No, a green mullet anytime soon. Hopefully. I don't even think that's available in the, uh, you know, the appearance modifications. There we go. You see what I mean? It's like not... It's not consistent with the rail shot. I'm not really complaining, it's just... It's kind of odd. I'm gonna have to learn the trick to it. Alright, here's the... Factory security terminal. Now get to the basement. Which should be over on the other side of the building, of course, right? Group phase, yep. So we'll just go ahead and take a shortcut. Whee! Dunk. Is this the basement? Yep. Catch the elevator. And Evokai Mastermind. Oh, hello. Well, let's introduce ourselves. This is one of those elite, like super elite boss types. So we gotta use all the weapons at our disposal. 
We're taking him down pretty quick, though. Our heat's up pretty significantly, but he won't be alive to really enjoy it. There we go. Release the hostages. And we got some prototype armor. Aim and endurance. Okay, well. We'll bind it to you. Are you sure you want? Yeah, why not? Now, okay, here it is. Holding cell controls. Shoo! Vamos! Now, I believe we may have one more quest um, after this for him. For, what was his name? For Foreman Rom. But we're going to go ahead and take care of that in the next episode. And then we can go ahead and turn in the man with the steel voice and then take the shuttle to get out of here to uh, Dromenkos. Or actually, we'll get to check out the Imperial, uh, the Imperial Fleet Space Station, which is pretty awesome. But I'll work my way out of here. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.